omoka siku moja tutapata hivi kwa kihoteli tu upata na menu umeza wewe ugali matumbo upata na vitu zinaitwa lasagna hata ujui ni nini witishe tu juu miomoka si ndio eh hivyo ndo tunataka tu kusababisha manzi na shukuru sana eh asante ni manzi eh mugaga na upo ali wali mkapa muga oh siku soma hapo tu lakini ni sawa tu wenyewe tu itajipa tu si ndio kabisa wapi makofi yao kijana Najua ujaelewa alikuwa anakuambia asante kwa last time. Na uchunge simu sana. Kuna kijana mwingine yuko hapa karibu sana Modesto. Salimia watu useme unafanya nga nini na unafanya nini hapa. Kwa majina yanaitwa Modesto aka the MP aka the MCA aka the Deputy President aka the President aka the Anthony General aka the speaker yani hizo zote ni majina zangu na nimekuja hapa jua asul mimi nabambika sana mboka ni mboka hadi kwe mboka ina hadi kwe tu kamboka kadogo mboka ni mboka lazima ufurahie mboka yako atakaye leti aileti faida ile sana lakini mboka ni mboka ni yako jivunia ama aje mabijana si ndio Eh tuko hapa tumekaa mkurepresent mavijana tunashukuru mzae tunaona ako na sisi anatushika na sisi tuzimwachilie tucheze tu na rada tumpeleke na riang venye tumeambiwa na pia yeye asababisha ama aje eh kweli wapi makofi kwa wale wako hapa waelewi mboka mboka si mboga mboka ni kazi kwa hivyo eh, vile nilikuwa nasema kabla nimalize ni si ni vijana si ni wasanii tunatumia usanii kujipanga kwa hivyo tunataka tu encourage wase huko mtaani wale wase wananiona manze story za bangi manze vam vijana jo lazima tuwaze kuchunga mtaa zetu hizo mangwai zinaletwa mtaani sisi hatuna pesa ya kuuza ngwai lori na kada ikishika lori naona ngani lori worth 10 million mavijana hatuna 10 million so kuna wase wanatuleta ya bangi mtaani tuvute so tuchunge mtaa zetu jo tuchunge madem tuchunge akina madhe tukae soba ndio sasa Kenya huko in future sasa ikuje kupata wasi wako rada si ndio asanteni sana Mungu awabariki sana na asante your excellency shukran makofi kwa utafadhali asanti sana na pia kwa heshima thank you for coming na ile kitu tu mimi nataka kuwa show leo ni kwamba siku ya siku ya leo ni siku special kwa sababu nyinyi mkicheki kila mboka huanga ina mata ama jamaa bila wanabonga sahani yao utoka hapo na mimi wanga naambia watu kitu moja hakuna anga tofauti ya dhao ya pilot na dhao ya mtu wa kuuza mei hakuna anga tofauti ya dhao ya manager na dhao ya house help zote ni dhao na mimi niwaambia hivi kila mtu wacha kuwe proud ya ile shughuli anafanya Leo mmecheki hapa His Excellency the Deputy President alisema kitu moja Yeye hataogopa na hataibika kwa identified na mahaslas Kwa kawosh kesho ujui ni wapi goda na kupeleka Leo ndo uzame hii kesho ujui wende utakuwa mwenye dinga If only utafocus kwa life. Na mimi nataka ku encourage hapa hivi leo vile mmechekizi hasol zote ziko hapa, mmecheki pia wakina Katelo ile shughuli wanafanya. Hiyo ndio mboka yao. Na sisi wote tukisapotiana na kaa vijana tukuwe serious na ile shughuli tunadu. Na like vile director wetu ametuambia pale chipukizi drugs zinamaliza vijana. Ni sad kuona mtaani wale ma dead man wengi tuko nao ni mavi na tuko na mheshimiwa Ichungwa kutoka Kikuyu wacha aseme mawili matatu alafu tuendelee na shughuli makofi kwa kitafadhali Asante <laughs> sana mheshimiwa Dhauri Hamjambo Sikia iko mtu hapa anasema mimi ni mtu wa ushago na ni kweli mimi ni mtu wa ushago lakini pia ni rafiki sana hasa watu wa Kibich. Tulikuwa huko shughuli ya campaign ya kina Brayo, Mayengs. Tukafanya job poa sana huko. Wengine wakafanya yao. Sitaki niseme mengi. 
sababu mheshimiwa naibu wa rais mmesikia ile lugha iko hapa ni ngumu kidogo kwa watu wa wa ushago mmesikia ni ngumu kidogo lakini mmesikia mboko ni mboko ni mboko mboka ni <laughs> mboka ni mboka na chipukizi ametuambia mboka si mboka alafu nikasikia pale brayo wakati alipewa system pale akaambia deputy president ya kuwa aliwaambia hakuna system yenye inaogopwa na hati hakuna system lakini amewapea system kupita nikauliza brayo yani brayo unajua system kaniambia ambia deputy president yeye alisema hakuna system mwingine akamwambia yeye ndiye system na mimi nakubaliana na huyo kabisa mheshimiwa naibu wa rais kweli wewe ndiye uko na system because the system that matters the system that counts ni hii system ya youth ambao wanajua hustle every hustle matters na system ambayo ndiyo yenye kura hiyo ndiyo system inafaa na ndiyo system muhimu kabisa kwetu sisi kama viongozi so deputy president ukiambiwa uko na system usizeme hauna uko nayo because you have the system that counts you have the system that matters you have the system that delivers system ya hao watu ambao ndiyo wenye hustles na ndiyo wenye kura na ndiyo wenye nchi na wenye Kenya au sio kwa hivyo ile system deputy president uko nayo ni system ambayo inafanya ma youth waomoke na wa ma youth wa kibich na walangata wataomoka na hiyo system yako na hiyo system wamesema mboka ni mboka si hata yanatafuta mboka na hiyo mboka atapata kupitia system ye system yenu so deputy president mboka utapewa na hii system ya mahaslas kwa hiyo mengi asanteni and every hustle matters mboka ni mboka every hustle matters mtu asidharau kazi yako sababu ndio inakulisha tunajua kuna system nyingine ambayo ni ya madharau na kudharau hustle zetu sisi tunawaheshimu na tunaheshimu hustle zenu na tutaendelea kujengana thank you and god bless you asanti sana makofi kwa mheshimiwa tafadhali Asante sana mheshimiwa Ishungwa. Unajua mheshimiwa Ishungwa ni mnoma sana mkimwona hivyo ingekuwa kingoso maze uja ma you got true ama kisapere. Lakini leo mnaelewa ile yetu Your Excellency ni hii design. So <laughs> So asante sana mheshimiwa Ishungwa. Pia within CC tuko na mheshimiwa kutoka Dandora. Wale watu mnajuanga Dando <laughs> Ndio kila mtu akisikia Dandora jiwanga ni dump site. Uja mata mkimwona hivi ni noma. Wacheni niwaambie ile area wanga red spot mnamelewanga ni Dando. Na yenyewe wacheni niwaambie story. Ukiona mtu amechaguliwa Dando, huo ni title. Sinyi mlelewa vile nasema. Hataki ka hivi style ya kibuda amwezani na yeye. Yuko true buda. Mheshimiwa Gakuya, karibu. Uh, Santi Mwashimua Dauri, His Excellency of the Republic of Kenya, Wabunge Wezangu, Team Ya Kibla, Hamjambo Wote, Tugoteane Hewani, Asanti San. Yangu ni kushkulu na fasihi kwa mwariko wa ke koril kwenye kikauhiki, ili tuweze kushikamana, kushikamana pamoja kama Nairobi, na sisi tumekua hapa hapa, mahari mpo, Konsisu zetu zimekuwa hapa hapa tumepokea zetu na kwa hivyo ingekuwa ni muhimu pia kunja kushiriki na nyinyi siku hii ya maana sana. Uh, His Excellency ile jambo ningetaka kukuambia ni kwamba kuguza loho ya mahasola hazwa boma la jinji la Nairobi ni kuguza loho zao mahali umewagusa sasa hivi. Na nikuambia sisi hatutoshani na wale watu wako kule kwa mashamba kule manyumbani 
wenye wako na shamba ambao njioni wamekuwa na hakikisho ya chakula ya ranch na za sapa sisi hapa hatuna hakikisho ya breakfast hatuna hakikisho ya lunch hatuna hakikisho ya sapa kwa sababu ni kuhaso tuna haso na tunakula mfuko na mfuko ikikauka ujue tubo imekauka kwa hivyo ile kitu tungekuambia tumepitia mangumu hasa wakati wa pandemic kwa sababu sisi hatuna shamba na nikamfuko tunategemea na tunakushukuru kwa kutukubuka kwa sababu huku tusahau tumepata chakula kwa wingi kutoka boma hii na hata kama hakuna wale haikufikia imefikia wengi ile jumbe nyingine ningekuambia Nairobi kwa sababu tunakula mfuko kujenga timu kama hii ya mayuzi na wamama na kadhalika ni kuwajenga kimfuko na njia ya kuwanunulia vivaa vya kazi this is how to give them road to fish na kusema ukweli in two years time hawa wazee tutawatembelea na wale ambao watakuwa hawajafunika Easter yao chini wale wataenda kuifanyisha kazi tutawakuta wamemultiply na tutawakuta wakiwa watu wamejiweza kimaisha kwa hivyo yangu ni kuwauliza wenye wanda bahati ya siku ya leo tuende kazi na tuende tuhakishe chombo tunazo tumepata leo ni za kutujenga kimfuko yetu kwa hivyo tufanye hii kazi kwa bidii kwa sababu lazima tukule mfuko na tutashukuru his excellence kwamba kule kumebaki zile wodi dogo dogo zilibaki bila MCS watu bado wanalialia hata hao wakumbuke usiwasahau kwa sababu zote zote ni watoto wako ile kitu inanipatia ina, ina uh, shukrani kubwa his excellence ni kwa sababu huchagui na hukuangalia sehemu za jubilee peke yake umeangalia Nairobi ikiwa 17 constituencies entire kwa hivyo hongera sana kwa sababu huku sema wale ama wale umetunga na hii ni kibra ababo mahali tulienda tukacheza mpira hata kama tulifungwa ngori tulikuwa pia tumecharaza mpira sawa sawa na natumaini wakati mwingine tutapata mabadiliko kwa sababu siku na lala salama na kuna kipindi ya pili kwa hivyo kipindi ya pili najua tutajikamua tutajikakamua sawa sawa na tutaweza kunyoroshana sawa sawa his excellence nikifunga ni kwamba sisi kama jiji ya Nairobi tunakuambia kama kuna mtu ametushika na ametushika mkono hakuna mwingine wala si wewe na kwa hivyo hakuna jambo ama mtu ama upepo utatutenganisha na wewe na kuambia safari hii iwe ni safari ngumu iwe ni safari ya kupanda milima iwe ni ya viponde tutapanda pamoja na tutaimaliza pamoja na hatutakuwa na kitu inaitwa wasiwasi tutapanda milima vilivyo na sisi hatutakubali kutishwa na nakwambia nimeona wewe na kinara wa upisani mukilenga jambo hili ontendeka wiki, wiki hii ya maseneta wetu wakiwa wa, wanahamrishwa kama ni mikora na mimi nasema we are past that dark days Kenya ni Kenya mpya na sisi tuko katika katiba mpya na tungeomba katiba iweze kuheshimika na watu wao wanajiita deep state msahau Kenya ni ya wa Kenya na Kenya sio wachache na anawaambia hawa watu wanatumika kama vivaranga ama vibaraka mjua tutakutana na nyinyi kwa dobe na mtaenda nyumbani asubuhi ndizi ni wananchi na tukisema tumesema kwa hivyo serikali sio serikali ya mwananchi basi ni serikali ya nani hiyo ni serikali ya Kimra na tuko tayari kuendelea na serikali ya aina hiyo ndugu zangu tumekerwa sana wakati tulipanga maraini ya asubuhi alafu tunafika kuona mazao ni kupigwa matake kama ile asanti ya punda na tunasema basi nayo ikifika mwisho imefika kwa hivyo tunauliza kesho ya 2022 itafika lini tuweze kusonga kwa huyo mrengo tunataka asantini na tuungane pamoja shukrani e budame jangori <laughs> asanti sana mheshimiwa gakuya na mimi nikimalizia ndio ni mwe ni welcome mheshimiwa Koril host wetu nataka kuambia kitu moja mkinisikiza tukiwa hapa leo sisi wote kama mahaslas tukicheki dosi wetu hapa his excellency the deputy president mimi nikiongea kimimi sijui ama wewe pia nikaa mimi 
mimi naona hope na mtu ataniuliza kwa nini mimi nasema naona hope naona hope because najua hivi pali uko saa hii si pali god atakuweka kesho deputy president nyinyi wote mnajua story yake siku moja alikuwa anauza kuku si ni kweli mtu akicheki mtu akuuza kuku hiyo siku hakuwa nafikiria uja manauza kuku siku moja ataitwa deputy president leo tunapiga story ule mtu ametu host hapa ni huo jamaa siku moja alikuwa anauza kuku god amemfikisha pale amefika mimi nikiwa cheki leo nyinyi wote kuna future bright but future itakuwa bright kwa sababu ya kitu moja if out to lose hope if uta keep focus yako vile inafaa kukua kama dp angejichanganya hiyo siku labda hangi kuwa pali yuko leo mimi nataka kukutupia word moja pali we god amekuweka leo kuwa faithful piga shughuli na bidii na pia mimi nataka ni wa challenge niwaambie hivi hivi tumepoa hapa leo tusikue watu wa kusahau sijua mama mnashika vile nasema tusikue watu wa kusahau saidi pi his excellency william ruto ametushika mkono ametu appreciate vile tuko kila siku mimi nikiwapa mimi wanga inspired nikicheki vile watu wanatoka hapa hivi vile watu wanakamu nakumbuka likimcheki siku ile lileta viti leo umetoka hapa na mashini leo umetoka hapa na, na tanki ya kawash mwingine ametoka na shughuli yake pale ya events saloon na hizi shughuli zote pia sisi tusikue watu wa kusahau saa hii hatuko hapa ati tunasema ni campaign but mimi ninataka kuambia hivi pia wewe time yako ikifika kumbuka jamaa amekutoa udu kumbuka jamaa amekushika mkono tunaelewana wase kibira langata timu zote zile zimekama hapa leo na wa appreciate hustle zote tunazi appreciate hata kama unachoma mei his excellency you ni challenge because utakuta mara mob saa zile yuko round ameona mtu wa mei ameshuka dinga ameenda amebai mei hiyo ni kukushowaje huu jamaa hata ule mtu yuko pale down anatambua ni mtu na pia mimi ninakuambia hivi time yako pia inafika pia wewe ukimake decision kumbuka ni nani aliona we ni mtu saa zile watu walikuwa naona we sio mtu tunaelewana asanteni sana mheshimiwa Nixon Coril ndio host wetu so mimi narudishia mheshimiwa Nixon Coril aendeleshe kutoka hapa god our bless na asanteni sana asanti mheshimiwa dhauri your excellency na viongozi wenzangu na masla wetu bwana sifiwe ni aje ni aje mkopoa uh, kwanza uh, wale mnatoka kibich karibuni langata karibuni langata na jua hapa mmezoea mme hapa si ndio Your Excellency ini jeshi ya Kibra na jeshi ya Langata constituency. Uh, Your Excellency hao ni wale vijana na wamama wengi wao walikuanga na sisi wakati tulikuwa kule mambo ya mariga. Na nataka niseme asante sana kwa sababu pale mlituingiza na mkatushikilia. Hata ile results zilitoka tulishinda bado si ni ukweli. Na nakumbuka tukiwa hapa Your Excellency ukiambia hawa watu wa Kibra kuwa liwe liwalo vile matokeo itatokea hatutawaacha na nashukuru kwa sababu umekipiwa ward kuwa hata vile matokeo ilitokea tumeshika tumeshikiliawa na tuko pamoja nataka niseme your excellency hii ni jeshi yetu na wamekuwa kinisukuma kicheki akina chinja pale kuna jamaa mwingine anaitwa father akina toti akina brayo akina steve hapa kaende akiwa pale naona reza pale hii ni jeshi mama bitri sako hapa hii ni jeshi yote na kama, karibu kila mtu hapa excellency na wajua kwa majina kwa sababu walitukaribisha pale na wamekuwa wakiona vile tunafanya maendeleo ina Nairobi mzima lakini nikawambia deputy president alisema atasee vile 
the best for the last. Sinicheki. Na ndio tumekuja hapa leo. Hawa vijana wote your excellency. Ni masla. Biashara wewe umezunguka kaske ile biashara wanafanya. Na nashukuru kwa sababu umewatambua. Na ukasema hata kama ni mkokoteni wanataka tuwapatie mkokoteni. Kama ni kawash tuwa support wana kawash. Kama ni watu wa salon, kama ni watu wa kuku tuwa support. Na tashukuru kwa sababu hapa kati, karibu kila wiki umekuwa na group ya vijana wa Nairobi kuashikilia. Kwa sababu ile kenya wanataka tu wa masla ni ndoano ya excellence. Wewe luuza kuku. Unajua kuuza kuku ni nini? Na kenye noitaji ukipata chakula kuku, kuku kakue, utakauza, utengeneze yako ya watoto yako. Na hao ndi wamekua wame kiomba na nashukuru kwa sabu umuatimizia leo. Hizi ni groups ambazo ziko hapa ni groups kama 30. Groups kutoka Kibra na groups kutoka Langata Constituency. Hao nye wamekuja yu excellency ni wakilishi wa tatu wa tatu kutoka kila group. Lakini kila group iko na watu kati ya 20 na 30. So tukiwa hapa na hao viongozi ni kama tunautubia watu miatano, miasita yu excellency. Hao ni wakilishi wao. Anu wakilisho. Ama sivyo. Sinivo. sinivo. Na pia ya excellency, vile nikuwa na kuambia tu hapo kando, pia pale kibra bado kuna pressure kidogo. Tuko na jeshi kubwa pale. Nataka tuisukume tena. Tukipata na fasi, tuwaite wengine tena. Kama hawa, na pia tukipata na fasi ingine, tuwasukume. Kwa sabu tuko na jeshi kubwa hapo kibra. Vile tumekua tukisukuma unajua hapa langata kwa sabu mini mbunge, nikipataka kidogo, kale kamsharangu na katupa. Na katupa. Unajua wao, hawa wamekua branded. Hawa ni watu wa mariga na ni watu wa asla. Na pale hawapatangi msaada. Sasa mimi ni mbunge wayo excellency na wewe pia ni mbunge yao. So na kuomba tufanya kazi tuitimiza ama ni aje. Other is excellency, mimi nataka tuku shukuru. At least leo tumefikia kule kibra. Tumefikia constituency zote kuminasapa hapa Nairobi. Na taendelea kuendelea hivi. Na pia hapa masla kuna shida hapa. Je shida huyu shida ya excellency amekuwa kikusukuma sana. Wacha shida aseme jambo ndio tuweze kidogo shida. Amjamboni. Kama ndugu wetu wa Kristo bwana asifiwe. Kama ndugu wetu wa Islamu salamu aleikum. Leo ni heshima kubwa kwa jamii ya kwa dini ya Waislamu kwa sababu kalenda mpya inaanza leo. Mheshimiwa chukua hapa kama vijana wa Kibra na vile mbunge wetu ambaye tumezaliwa na kitofu moja katika siasa mheshimiwa Korira amesema I Kibra ilikuwa langata na langata ilikuwa Kibra na kwa sababu ndugu yetu Korira alipo mara ya kwanza ya kufika Kibira 2012 mkikuja na ye mpaka wa leo hamjai sau Kibra Mheshimiwa shida yetu tunaishi kama mayatima. Hawa vijana wanaangalia hapa wengi wao ni makanga, kazi ya jua kali, mafundi wa viatu. Na tunajua ikiwa hata ndugu yetu Mariga hakupita, tuko na mbunge na tuko na mbunge zaidi ya mbunge ambaye ni wewe. Kwa jamii ya Kibra naomba kwa niaba yawe wote. Hii siwe safari ya mwisho. Iwe ya kwanza, iwe ya pili, iwe ya tatu. The perception on the ground is very clear mwishimiwa. Siasa ya Kibra imebadilika. Ile si boma ya mtu. Sahi imekua boma ya mahaslas. Na si ile siku utaingia Kibra mwishimiwa. It will take you four hours kutoka yu kibira. Iwe na gari, iwe on foot. Kwa sababu ya ile upendo uliwacha kwa by election. Kwa hayo machache, naongea kwa niaba ya brayo, naongea kwa niaba ya viongozi wengine wenye wako wapa na sisi. Reza kiwa pale, tulisimama na ye, mariga yiku ngambo, ndugu yake yiku wapa solo, representative wake, asanteni na mwenye zungu wa bariki. Solo kuja, nijo ni mwongea na mariga jana. Mariga kanya, unjua mariga likuwa kule inje kidogo, ndio hii mambo ya kafiu na kufunga boda ikakuja. Sahi korona nikambia tulia uko kwanza, wacha tushukilie, utakuta kapa tunaendelea. Lakini ya metumasolo, 
Solo ndugu yake sio mjua solo. Amjambo ana Kibra. Ya Excellency na hao wengine nashukuru kwa kutualika. Yangu tu ni kuwapa shukurani kwa ana Kibra mlio mlianza kusimama na sisi. Na Mariga nimetoka kuongea na naye sai sai akasema niwape salamu zake na niwambie bado ground anarudi. Anarudi na ile system mbaya. Bado tuko pamoja. Excellency ningeza shukuru kwa kushikilia ndugu yangu na bado tuko pamoja. Mimi request yangu yo Excellency nataka tu sisi kama wana Kibra bagadhi saa nyingine jami na Shikaga. Ingia tu na hapo kuanzia line saba. Ujue ground ni yako. Sawa uh, solo. Uh, Mariga ako ground, si ndio? Kwa sababu sisi tukiwa ground na nyimu kiwa hapo tunamshikilia, si ndio? Hii corona ikisha analanda hapa chap chap tunasukuma kazi. Ile kazi lazima tumalize. Ile kazi tulianza pale lazima tumalize. Mama mnasemaje? Eh. Hey. So your excellency mimi sina story mingi kupitia hapo. Nataka tu niseme shukran na nichukue fursa kukukaribisha your excellency chief hustler ndio uweze kusalamia mahasla wenzako. Karibu your excellency. E, kwa mitandao ati kuna hasla mansion Sasa ndiyo huku Karibuni sana Na mujisikia muko nyumbani e, Ningependa pia Kushukuru Viongozi mbali mbali Hapa tukona viongozi wengi Tukona marafiki Tukona watu ambao tumefanya kazi pamoja Na mimi nataka niwaambia kwamba vile mume watendea hawa vijana na vikundi ya kutoka langata na kibra mimi nataka niwaambie Mungu atawa bless kwa sababu yale mnafanya ni mambo ya muhimu sana niliuliza tufike hapa leo kwa sababu tuko na changamoto ya matatizo ya ugonjwa na biashara nyingi zimeadhirika, zingine zimeharibika, zingine zimekwama, zingine zimepotea. Na sababu hiyo tukasema tuko na mpango ya serikali ya Kenya. Tuko na mambo ya vijana, kazi mtaani, tuko na shughuli zingine nyingi kupitia kwa wizara mbalimbali mbali, ambazo zinalenga kusaidia wananchi vijana kina mama hasol ya kila mtu ili tuweze kuchikomboa kutoka matatizo ya corona na mbali na yale serikali inafanya hasa hapa Nairobi tuko na mambo mengi tunayatekeleza kama kama serikali tuko na mambo ya mabarabara tunajenga kule Eastlands na sehemu zingine za Nairobi hii Tuko na expressway tutajenga hivi karibuni tayari tutaanza kutoka kule mlolongo tuko na shughuli ya stima mulisikia rais alitangaza juzi kwamba mambo ya maji hapa Nairobi ni ya muhimu na tumeweka mpango na taratibu ya sawasawa kuongeza mambo ya maji hapa Nairobi 
maji ya kunywa maji ya matumizi na maji yale ambayo yatasaidia biashara zenu kuendelea mbele na mbali na hiyo shughuli nyingi ya serikali vile vile tuko na juhudi za makanisa tuko na juhudi za kampuni mbalimbali tuko na mpango ya watu binafsi na mimi pia nilionelea katika hiyo harakati yote mimi pia ni wakumbuke mahasla wa kutoka Langata na wale wa kutoka Kibish na ndio tumekuja hapa ili tuweze kugawana yale machache tuko nayo hapa kusaidia vikundi mbalimbali mbali. na mimi nataka muelewe hivi mimi hata na mimi nimetoka mbali na mimi nataka niwaambie hasul ni bidii na kujiamini na kujitolea na kusukuma usikubali mambo ambayo yaliomo ya shushe ama ya haribu ama ya kwamishe azma yako ama malengo yako mjue ya kwamba kila mtu ambaye anafanya bidii hasul sio udogo ama ukubwa yake ni bidii yenye iko ndani yake kila mmoja wetu kama wewe ni mtu wa shushine kama wewe ni mtu wa nduthi kama unasukuma mkokoteni kama unaendesha car wash ama saloon ama mambo ya entertainment ama mambo ya artist ufanye kama vile humfanyii mtu unamfanyia Mungu ndio uweke bidii kabisa kabisa and therefore nataka niwaulize mujiamini na mufanye bidii kila mmoja wetu it doesn't matter what you're doing it doesn't matter your business it is not the size of your business it is the size of your commitment and determination that decides or determines whether you succeed or you don't tunaelewana jameni na mimi najua wengi wenu vile mulipatikana ndio tukawa na mkutano huu ni kwa sababu tayari nyinyi ni watu ambao mmejitolea mnajiamini na mnafanya bidii nataka ni waulize hiyo bidii muzidishe tutafaulu sote pamoja tutafaulu mimi natambua ile kazi nyingi ambazo tuna tunaendesha na mimi kusimama hapa kama naibu wa rais ni ili muelewe na wakenya wale wengine waelewe ya kwamba kama serikali ya Kenya tunatambua hasul ya kila mtu tunatambua ya kwamba yule ambaye anauza mboga yule ambaye anauza kiosk yule ambaye yako kwa shushine yule ambaye anasaga unga na wale wengine wote wote ni wa Kenya na ni jukumu letu kama serikali kuwashikilia kuwasaidia and to make sure that we protect your investment we protect your business and we protect your hustle ndio tuweze kwenda pamoja mimi mwana nielewa jameni hiyo ndio barabara yetu so mujue ya kwamba as the government of Kenya we are interested in every hustle every business however small because that is what determines how we move into the future together as a nation by making sure that we respect every business we respect every engagement of citizens that is legal that is legitimate that make sure that they can carry themselves their families their aspirations into the future na sababu hiyo ndio mimi nataka mtambue na kila mmoja wetu ile mipango yote tunaendesha Nairobi na Kenya ya mipango ya serikali mjue ni serikali yenu kwa hivyo hiyo mipango yote tuko nayo harakati zote tuko nazo 
na tumesema hapa mmenifundisha sheng ati mboga ni mboga mboka mboka ni mboka sijui ama ndio inasema <laughs> eh? mboka ni mboka si namna hiyo na nimefika hapa ndio mjue hiyo mboka mnafanya tunaitambua na tunataka ifaulu na ndio sababu tumekuja hapa kuunga mkono so that we can move together vile vile mimi nataka niwahakikishie ya kwamba tukisonga mbele na tukitambua biashara ya kila mtu na kutambua na kuheshimu hasoli ya kila mtu nataka niwaambie us the government of Kenya we are not just interested but we will protect the business and the hustle of every Kenyan it doesn't matter the size of your hustle and i also want to tell you that the jubilee administration democratically elected we believe in a well trained paid professional police force that protects and serves every citizen whether in the village or in town whether in our informal settlements or in the suburbs whether you are a mamamboga or a boda boda guy or somebody working in an office or a legislator you are entitled to the services of a professional well trained police that is focused on protecting and serving the interest of every citizen that is why we changed the police from a force to a service so that it can serve the people of Kenya and that is the position of the jubilee administration we believe in a professional trained police force police service that is not a force we do not believe that the might of the police should be used against citizens or against leaders we believe that it should be used to protect and to serve every citizen so that they can achieve their aspirations and we can commit ourselves as a people to driving the agenda of the nation that benefits everybody hapo ndio mahali tuko tunaelewana jameni na mimi nataka niwaeleze ya kwamba when we elect a government it is not because of the leaders it is because of the people and a government does not serve the interests of leaders it serves the aspirations of its people the millions of kenyans and that is the government we believe in and that's the government we elected so we must be focused we must be determined and i want to tell every public officer and every police officer in Kenya that they must serve professionally in accordance with the law and the constitution and nobody should blackmail or intimidate them to run political errands or political agendas for anybody politicians must learn to do their thing and run their errands and run their agendas without involving other public servants that have nothing to do with politics that is what we want kwa hivyo mimi nataka niwashukuru sana mimi nimefurahi kuwaona mnakaribishwa hapa nimeona marafiki wengi 
tumekuwa na wao meona shiro pale nimeona hiyo kibra wakati tunapiga hatua ya kwenda mbele isibaki nyuma we must move together tunaelewana nini na nimeshukuru hasa sana my friend chinja hapa kwa sababu vile mumefanya kutoa vijana ambao walikuwa ni wahalifu leo badala ya kuuawa na polisi wamejipanga wako na hustle na wanajipanga vile watalisha familia zao mimi na kuhakikishia i will stand with you na nishakubaliana na huyo dem hapo ya kwamba tutafanya hivyo si tulikubaliana eh alafu watakuja hiyo group tutaunganisha na Uh, nataka shila pale mpange na yeye alafu tuone vile tunaweza ku boost hiyo group yenu nataka nimshukuru rafiki yangu pale Mwangi huyo jamaa pale huyo Mwangi amenieleza ya kwamba kutumia kikundi yake wameokota bunduki nne kutoka vijana wa kule kibra na sehemu hii na wamebadilika sasa ni wafanyabiashara wanaendesha hasol zao na hawana haja tena na uhalifu nataka niseme mwangi pongezi tunakunyulia kofia na wale wengine wote e, bidii vile mnafanya nataka nimshukuru huyu mungwana bwana Otieno kwa sababu aliniuzia hiyo bench pale inanisaidia sana kwa mkutano namna hii namna hii najipanga na hiyo na nilimwaahidi ya kwamba aliniambia ya kwamba ako na shida na vile ya kukunja chuma tulimwaahidi tutamnunulia eh, equipment kuna moja hii kuna zingine tatu tume, tumeagiza kutoka ngambo tutawapatia ndio muweze kusaidia vijana wengine tuweze kwenda mbele pamoja tunaelewana jameni na hii mambo yote tunafanya hapa sio sana kwa sababu ya mambo ambayo yanakuja lakini zaidi kwa sababu mimi ni deputy president wa Kenya and I, you are entitled to service from me because you are the people of this great nation Mimi mnanielewa yes it is my job it is my responsibility to support every citizen where i i can because it is not for the people to serve us it is us to serve the people that is the the the, the world of a difference and it is not for you to support the government it is for the government to support your hustle that is the position Tunaelewana jameni? Ile support mlitupatia ni ya uchaguzi. Na pale wakati mlimaliza uchaguzi, support yenu mlitimiza, ile imebaki ni deni yetu ku support hustle zenu ndio tuweze kwenda mbele pamoja. That is what I want to say. Na niwashukuru tena na niseme asanteni kwa kutukaribisha. Na pengine tu ningetaka niseme yale mengine siku ingine tusiseme leo. Nataka niwashukuru sana. Niwaambie na hata tukimaliza hapa bado musi musiondoke haraka mu, eh, mu namna hii namna hii hapa. Ndio eh, hii kiwanja iweze kuwazoea. Ndio mkikuja siku hiyo ingine nyinyi si wageni tena. Sina namna hiyo. Kwa hivyo Eh, nimeshukuru sana eh, kwa sababu ya ninyi kunitembelea hata ingawaje niko na shughuli shughuli hapa ule mungwana alisema lazima nisababishe na hata lunch nimesababisha iko lunch hapa kwenu eh, kabla ya mjaondoka mkule